Hello friends, my name is Paige and I'm a librarian at the Gwinnett County Public Library and today I'd like to show you how to make your own virtual pet using Scratch. Okay, let's get started. Go ahead and go to scratch.mit.edu and create an account. Once you're logged into your account, you'll see this dashboard. Let's go ahead and click Create. So this is where you will build all of your code and create your pet. Before we go into coding, let's choose a pet, or as it's called in Scratch, a sprite. They've already provided us with their mascot, Scratch the Cat, but we're going to delete him. Sorry, Scratch, and then we'll choose our own. Go down to this little icon and hover your mouse. You will see some options. Click on the magnifying glass. There's so many fun options. You can choose anything from bugs to dragons, any kind of animal. I think this frog is kind of cool. Okay, now what? Well, he needs an environment. So I'm going to go to the choose a backdrop icon next to the choose a sprite icon. And again, there are a ton of options. I'm going to go with this forest scene. Cool, let's build some scripts. A script is a collection or stack of blocks that all interlock with one another. The blocks in their order are very important as they determine how sprites interact with each other and the backdrop. Let's start with something basic like a greeting. Go to the purple looks button and select the say hello for two seconds. Now we need to go to the yellow events button and select the when green flag clicked block. Let's see what happens when we click the start flag. Hmm. I don't love that the fly is the one saying the greeting, but we can fix that. Let's go here to costumes. Each sprite has their own costumes. As you can see, my sprite has three. I just want to edit this first one. So I want my pet to begin at a fixed location, so I'm going to drag him to a spot I like, like this rock. And then I'm going to look at the X and Y axis. Down here is a graph that shows the sprite's location on the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. Let's go to these blue motion blocks and select a go to X and Y. Oops, that's not in the correct order. You can even have a conversation with your pet. Let's go to the light blue sensing icon and choose the ask and wait block. Type, are you my new friend? Then go back to the purple looks block and choose say blank for two seconds. Type, awesome! The next thing I want to show you is how to add variables. A variable is something that can be changed. In computer programming, we use variables to store information that might change and can be used later in our program. To create a new variable, you click Make a Variable button. Then type the name of your variable and then click for this sprite only. Go to Events and grab a When Green Flag Clicked. Then go to variables and grab set boredom to zero. Go to control and grab a forever loop. And inside that, we will grab a wait 45 seconds and then change boredom by negative one.
Okay, so now I'm going to select a new sprite for my pet to interact with. So how do we get them to interact? Well, we can build a script for that. Go to events and select the when this sprite clicked block. So now I need the radio to communicate with my pet. To do this, we are going to use the broadcast message block and change the message to music. I want my radio to be animated and to play sound. So to do that, I'm going to select Switch Costume to Radio B. Next, I'm going to go to the sound section. Just like the costumes, each sprite has a selection of sounds most relevant to what they are. Next, let's change the costume back. Finally, I'm going to wrap all that code with a repeat five times. Let's grab the when I receive music block and a switch costume to frog 2C. A go to radio. Go to front layer, wait 0.5 seconds, switch costume to frog to A, Wait three seconds. Switch costume to frog 2C. And wait 0.5 seconds. Then I want my pet to return to his rock. To do this, we will select that go to XY block. Add a switch costume to frog to A. And finally, we will finish that script with a change boredom by one. Cool, let's create another variable. So this script will look very familiar.
Okay, let's choose another sprite. Mm, I'm going to choose this glass of water. I don't love how large this sprite is, so before we begin our script, I'm going to adjust the size. Okay, and again, these next few series of scripts should look super familiar to you. To make things easier, we can right click here and duplicate the code that we have beneath. Then we will simply change the necessary components to make it relevant. Oops, just realized I made a mistake here. Sorry about that. Okay, let's add something a little more challenging. I want to make a variable for hunger, but instead of having a fixed sprite for my pet to go to. I want to have bugs flying around that you have to catch. I like this dragonfly, but it's a little big, so I'm going to change the size. Let's grab the when green flag clicked block, add a forever loop, and inside that loop, add a glide three seconds to random position. Now we want to grab a when this sprite clicked block. Glide 0.5 seconds Hide Next select a start sound I want a crunching sound, so I'm going to go look for one. Wait three seconds. show and broadcast dragonfly Select the when the green flag clicked. 
and then we're going to create a new variable and call it dragonflies. Then we will grab the set dragonflies to zero. Add a forever loop. Inside the forever loop, add a wait 45 seconds. And then set dragonflies to zero. Okay. Grab a when I receive dragonfly block and a change dragonflies by one block. I want some more dragonflies buzzing around. So the easiest way to do that is to right click on the dragonfly icon and select duplicate. And you can do this as many times as you'd like. So the final thing you will want to do before sharing your new pet is to explain how to take care of it. To do this, let's click on the file icon in the upper right hand corner. This is where you can see all of your projects. Simply click on the title of your project. And here is where you can add instructions. Excellent! So now you have a basic understanding of how Scratch works, and you can program your own virtual pet to share with all your friends. Thank you for watching!